Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to test a dual run capacitor for your outdoor AC unit using a multimeter. We recently had to diagnose and replace our own capacitor and doing it ourselves saved a bunch of money. So let's walk through it. A dual run capacitor has three terminals and it's rated in microfarads. Here's the quick breakdown. Herm, or sometimes just H, stands for hermetically sealed compressor. This terminal on the capacitor connects to the compressor's auxiliary winding and typically has a higher microfarad rating. C is common and fan is for the fan motor. Now let's look at the rating. It's labeled 30 by 5 microfarads, meaning 30 microfarads goes to Herm, the compressor, 5 microfarads goes to fan, and each gives you a tolerance of plus or minus 6%. We also have the voltage as 440 and the frequency. So we bought a new one to match, and it's a little thinner and longer, but it fits just fine and has the same 30 by 5 microfarad rating as the old capacitance. It also has the same terminals, fan, C, and Herm. But before we toss the old one, let's test it with a basic multimeter, the kind that doesn't have a special setting for capacitors. Right off the bat, you can tell it's bad because it's domed and bubbled up, but we're going to test it anyway, just to confirm. So the first thing we'll do is put the black probe to common and the red to ohms. Set your multimeter to ohms, and I use the 2 milliohms or the 200 kiloohms setting. Then put the black lead on the common terminal and the red line on either fan or herm. A good capacitor will make the meter jump or climb and then fall back to 1. Let's test the fan side first. And nothing. It just stays at 1. The meter doesn't move at all, so that part of the capacitor is dead. Now let's try the Herm side. You'll see the meter jumps and climbs, then eventually drops back. So the compressor side still kind of works, but since one side is shot, the whole capacitor is basically useless. Next, we'll use a multimeter that has a capacitance mode to get exact numbers. First, we'll put the black probe in the common and the red in capacitance. Switch the multimeter to capacitance setting, and again, the black lead goes to C, and the red lead goes to the terminal you're testing. So in testing the bad capacitor, C to fan shows zero microfarads. It should be close to five, but we're getting nothing, so it's totally bad. So we know for sure this capacitance is bad, even though the fan is supposed to show five microfarads. Now let's test the new capacitor. C to fan shows 4.96 microfarads, which is spot on since that's well within the plus or minus 6% range of five microfarads. C to Herm gives us exactly 30 microfarads, which is perfect. This is how a fully working dual capacitor should look. So now you know how to test a dual run capacitor with both types of multimeters. If one side's not working, it's time for a replacement. And if you want to see us actually swap out ours, check out our video on replacing the capacitor. Thanks for watching and have a great day.